first thing I'll need to do is set your network properties from public to private. Next, we want to go into the control panel and then go into programs and features. Next, we want to click on turn Windows feature on or off. Then we need to scroll down and find SMB 1.0 server and make sure it's checked and then click OK. Windows is going to go ahead and install all the files needed for you. Then once that's done, we need to go back into control panel. But this time we're going to go into network and sharing center. Now we're going to go into change advanced sharing settings. We need to make sure network discovery is on and file and printer sharing is on and public file sharing is also on. Now we can go ahead and save changes. And then now we need to go into settings, accounts, and then go ahead and click on family and other users, add someone else to this PC, and then click I do not have credentials for this person's sign in information. Then we need to click a uh, add a user without a Microsoft account. Now we're going to name this PS2. And for simplicity, I'm also going to make the password PS2. And I'm just going to enter some Fs for the uh, security questions. This doesn't matter. And then once that's done, we need to go ahead and restart the computer. And then once the computer is restarted, we need to go into this PC, local disk C, users, public. Then we need to make a new folder and name it PS2. Now go ahead and give that a right click and go into properties, sharing, and then advanced sharing. Now we're going to check share this folder, then go into permissions, add, and then enter PS2. And then click OK and check full control and then apply OK and then apply OK and then go ahead and close. Now go into this PS2 folder we just made and make a new folder with all capital DVD. Now go ahead and uh, drag your game ISO into this folder and then we can go ahead and close that. And now we need to go back into settings, go into network. And then go ahead and click on properties and then we need to scroll all the way down and find our ipv4 address now this is going to be different for everybody's computer so make sure you use the one on your computer and not mine now we can boot up our playstation 2 and go ahead and open up opl once we're in opl we need to go into settings we need to change eth device start mode to auto and we need to change the default menu to ETH games. Go ahead and click OK, then go into network settings. Then we're going to go under address type, set that to IP, and then change this to your IPv4 address on your computer. Again, this is going to be different for your computer as it is to mine. So make sure you enter the right one. And then under share, we're going to uh, enter PS2. Under user, we're also going to enter PS2. And then finally for password, yet again, we're going to enter PS2. Go, go ahead and click OK, and then go to save changes. And then we can go ahead and hit circle twice, and that'll bring us to the games menu. And I'm going to go ahead and start up Madagascar to show you it works. And, uh... Uh, network uh, sharing is a little bit faster than if you were to use a USB flash drive. So if anybody needs any help with this, or if they can't get it to work, please leave a comment below. Uh, thank you for watching. Collect three power cards. Hey, let's get some refreshments. I love this treadmill.
I'm on beat. <laughs>